Welcome future sophomores and thank you for joining us. In this presentation we will be going over the new registration process and important information that you will need to know for your 10th grade year. Your school counselor is determined by your last name. The counselor for last names A through CH is Ms. Walker, CI through GOM Ms. Morell, GON through LON Ms. Mazur, LOP to PAR Ms. Berg, PAS to SH Ms. Sumter, and SI through Z Ms. Aristor. There are 24 credits that a student must earn in order to graduate and earn their high school diploma. They are four credits in English, one each school year, four credits in math, one must be Algebra 1 and one must be Geometry, three credits in Science, one of which must be Biology, one credit in World History, which is taken in 10th grade, one credit of U.S. History, which is taken in 11th grade, a half a credit in U.S. Government, and a half a credit in Economics, which is taken in 12th grade, one Fine Arts requirement, which could be Band, Chorus, Theater, Digital Information Technology, there is a long list of classes that can fit in that category, one HOPE credit, and eight electives this totaling 24 required credits. In lieu of HOPE and the Fine Arts requirement, a student can take two years of ROTC. Foreign language is not required for graduation. However, if you want to qualify for the Bright Future Scholarship and college admissions, you will need to take and pass two years of the same foreign language. In addition to a high school diploma, you can earn a diploma designation for having completed specific criteria. The scholar designation requires a student to earn specific credits and pass all end of course exams. One important addition to this information is that if you complete your U.S. History credit at Valencia through dual enrollment or take AP U.S. History and do not pass the AP exam, you'll need to request to take the EOC through our testing coordinator. The merit designation requires you to pass an industry certification, which can be obtained by taking an accelerated course, such as AgriScience Foundations, Digital Information Technology, and many more. The biliteracy designation requires a student to earn four credits in the same world language while maintaining a B average and obtaining required test scores. Do you want to be a sophomore next year? Of course you do, but it isn't guaranteed. In order to have sophomore status next year and participate in sophomore activities, you must have at least five credits and at least a 2.0 cumulative GPA. If you are concerned you might not be on track, we recommend you speak to your counselor to see what you can do now in order to ensure sophomore status for next year. If you are missing credits, have below a 2.0 cumulative GPA, or want to boost your GPA, you should consider grade forgiveness. Grade forgiveness is retaking a class you got a D or an F in through Edgenuity, Orange County Virtual School, or Florida Virtual School. The original grade will show on your transcript, but only the new higher grade will be calculated into your GPA. This is required if you earned an F in a class you need for graduation. As a rising sophomore, you have some dual enrollment opportunities. However, come junior and senior year, more dual enrollment programs become available to you. Each college listed has their own separate online application to complete, as well as different GPA requirements, test score requirements, and application deadlines. If you are interested in any of the dual enrollment opportunities listed here, please visit the dual enrollment resources within the West Orange High School Student Services Canvas course or the West Orange High School Course Request Canvas course for a full list of requirements, direct links to the college dual enrollment websites, access to the online applications, and so much more. 
If you want to enroll in Valencia or UCF dual enrollment courses for the upcoming school year, this is the month you start applying. These colleges have open applications and some deadlines are fast approaching. Reminder, dual enrollment applications, direct websites, and requirements for each program can be found in the Student Services and Course Request Canvas courses. Additionally, you can Google the college name with the words dual enrollment. For example, you could Google Valencia dual enrollment and the website will appear. You are not limited to one dual enrollment program. You can be accepted into multiple dual enrollment opportunities and take courses in both at the same time. If you participate in a dual enrollment program, you will need to complete a dual enrollment contract before starting classes. The form can be found on the West Orange High School Course Request Canvas page under the Dual Enrollment section. Now let's go over the course progressions for high school and what the course selection options will be for the 2021 school year. To begin, here is our high school English progression. For your sophomore year, you will take either English 2 or Pre-AP English 2. Please speak with your current English teacher to discuss the best course for you to take. Now for your math options. Your math course for next year will depend on your current math placement. Please use the chart here to help determine the best course. We also highly recommend you speak with your current math teacher to ensure proper placement. Athletes, please note that liberal arts math courses are not accepted by NCAA. Now for social studies. Most of you have not taken a social studies course yet while in high school. You will take World History, World History Honors, or AP World History. If you took pre-AP World History this year, the goal is for you to take AP World History next year. If you are taking pre-AP World and aren't doing well, talk to your current teacher about what you should take next year and then have a conversation with your school counselor during your one-on-one -on -one meeting. Moving right along to science. As mentioned before, all students are required to complete three science credits, one of which must be biology. The biology EOC is required to receive a final grade. The remaining two science courses are of your choice. Please review the courses listed and speak with your current science teacher for recommendations. It is always encouraged for students to complete a science credit every year, especially if you want to go on to post-secondary education. The state of Florida expects all high school students to graduate with at least one accelerated opportunity. We want all students to not only graduate, but to also graduate with skills to be successful in their future aspirations. All students at West Orange will be placed into an accelerated course and will have the opportunity to choose from the courses listed here. Accelerated courses include AP classes, dual enrollment courses taken through FIU, Orange Tech, UCF, UF, and Valencia, and courses that have an industry certification exam. These are some of the electives that you will be able to request. To view descriptions of elective courses, please visit the West Orange website and search for the curriculum guide under the Student Services tab. Students that score below a level 3 on the FSA reading will be placed into an intensive reading course. Please keep in mind that electives you request are not guaranteed to be placed on your schedule. Also keep in mind that some electives have prerequisites, fees, and other school commitments. Now we will show you how to complete your course request form. When you access your course request form, please read the information listed at the top and make sure you type in all the required information. Your course request form must be submitted through the West Orange High School Course Request Canvas page by Friday, March 22nd. If we do not receive your form by this date, we will select your schedule for you. All students will be enrolled in seven class periods and your course selection may be revised based on final grades from this year and test scores. You will select your core courses in sections one through four. Select one course in each section and type an X next to that course. 
please try to consult with your current teachers and your parents before selecting a course. In this section, you will choose your accelerated course. As mentioned previously, all students will be scheduled into an accelerated course. Please choose three programs and use the drop-down arrows on the left to rank them one to three, one being your first choice and three being your last choice. Then select the appropriate course under the program you picked. For example, if one of the three programs you ranked is Digital Video Technology and you've taken Digital Video Tech 1, then you would select Digital Video Tech 2 for the following year. If you would like to see the progression for each program, you may click on the hyperlink provided. And now for the fun part. Now we will select our electives. Please choose six electives and rank them one through six, one indicating the elective you want the most. Electives will be considered in the order you rank them. As a reminder, electives are not guaranteed, and you may be placed into intensive reading or intensive math based on your test scores. Some electives fill up faster than others, so we want you to make sure that you're picking electives that are interesting to you as you may be placed into your fifth or sixth choice. You have been invited to a Canvas account named West Orange Course Request. Please accept the invitation to allow you to access the various resources we have available to you. Also, as we mentioned before, this is where you will submit your completed course request form. Find the module named Course Request Forms. You will click the 2021-22 Sophomore Grade Course Selection Fillable Form. You will need to download it and save it to your desktop with the following title last name underscore first name underscore your student number. Please complete the form and click save to your desktop. You will then click on the upload sophomore course request form here and upload your file and submit the assignment. Follow the steps that are listed on this page with the pictures. If you have any issues uploading, please contact our assistant principal at amanda.demarzo at ocps.net. We will meet with students the week of February 25th through March 5th in student services through your English class. You will meet with your school counselor individually to go over your course request form and answer any questions you may have. Please look at the schedule here to find your teacher and mark that date on your calendar. Please be sure to submit your course request form before your scheduled date to meet with your counselor. If you do not submit a form, your counselor will create a schedule for you. For up-to-date information, please stay in the loop by joining our Text Remind group. You can also sign up for our PTSO newsletter and visit our website. You can friend West Orange High School PTSO on Facebook and follow West Orange High School on Instagram and Twitter. If you have not already done so, please activate your SCORE account. This is a requirement for all high school students to complete. Log into your Launchpad, find the SCORE icon, click both boxes confirming you are older than 13 and not a robot, then hit the blue Sign Up button. That is all you have to do to activate your account. SCORE is designed to break down the college admissions process into manageable steps. This helps students evaluate all the important questions one step, one day at a time. Students are able to search for colleges based on personal and academic interests, build their college list, and explore campus communities to understand what type of environment will fit them best. Once a student activates their SCORE account in Launchpad, they can immediately begin using SCORE. If you have any questions, please use the chat feature to ask now. If you think of something after our live presentation, you can always submit your questions at the link provided.